I think there was a whole exhibit there. Car and Leaf, good wow. morning to you. Good morning. Off the boat, uh, the plane Pl- from plane. Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> How is it out there? I never been, but I hear you, great things. You know, I think it's I think it's wonderful. It's beautiful. Uh, the people are amazing. Um, it's something. I mean, you know, I don't get out much. I don't travel very often. But I went for economic development, re- business retention, expansion uh-huh. training, which was wonderful. Um, magnificent people. There I, I sense a, a big butt coming though. <laughs> no, there was like 110, <laughs> roughly 110 people in the room, and uh-huh. you know they had pointed at various people at the tables. Where are you from? Where are you from? And he pointed at me, and I said I'm from uh, just south of Seattle in Mason County. And to have other people in the room say, "Oh my God, Mason County's gorgeous! Wow, you know, it's so wow. beautiful That's there!" Awesome. I was like, cool. "Yay, yeah!" Because it is. It's it's stunning here, uh, but Baltimore. I just was impressed with the pride. I mean, you could, you could just saw it everywhere in huh. the city. Very clean, very welcoming people. They have what they call marine guides mm. that are kind of dressed like security guards with uh, bright vests on, and you know, walking around doing the tourist thing. You know, people talk to me quite often until they, you know, would ask where you're from, Seattle. Oh, you're a twelfth man, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I am. Oh, yeah, yeah, Conversation yeah. would end usually. I but, bet it would. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, they're just, they're security people. They help tourists find a certain location or, de- or destination that they're looking for. It was really a safe feeling. So like docents or um, fish and wildlife and, and yeah. things like that. That's cool. It was, yeah, it was very nice. You know, I kind of went downtown and did the food truck thing. Um, you know, lots of crab. I'm surprised I didn't come Ooh. home with pinchers. There was crab was everywhere. It was so time. good. Yeah. So what did you learn uh, uh, that other folks around the country are doing to help retain business in these kind of uncertain times at times? Right. Uh, they talked about um, how how much it's changed, the whole program, you know, and, and different programs that, that organizations use. And it's um, just all starts with going and talking one-on-one with your local businesses, you know, introducing yourself, introducing your organization, what, sure. what you can do for them, how we are, you know, mandated by the state to help anyone or in the county, I'm sorry, to help any, any business here, um, regardless of any membership or anything, um, you know, it's gaining that trust so that if they do have an issue, they do have a problem, they're going to pick up the phone and call you, you know, hopefully and talk to you about that. There was a lot of, you know, metropolitan you know, areas, rural, I mean, it's, it was a mix. So we're going to follow up um, this week with some, you know, kind of grouping it a little bit so, you know, us rural people can talk to one another to find out what specifically works for us that wouldn't work in the larger city. Yeah. Um, you're well known in the community and through the business community, through your work at the EDC. And so does, do you think that that has helped you gain the trust of these business owners to kind of talk with you maybe in not like 100 percent specific terms of their financial situations or their current business situations but that's a lot of it like you said the trust is important Mm -hmm. and these are uh these can be very tough topics to discuss with people outside of the of whoever's making the financial business decisions Mm -hmm. To bring somebody in like you who would be able to maybe help, but you have to open up that curtain and say and 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 show that you're in the need of help. Do mm-hmm. you get, I mean, is that you think that that's helped you over your I couple th- years with the EDC here? I think it has. You know, I mean, I know a lot of the business owners. You know, having been here yeah. as long as I have, but you know, we had one just um, this summer, fall uh, last year that ended up. It was about our third visit, and they finally said, "Hey, look, this is." I'm just going to be honest with you. This is where I'm at. And it was a kind of a hurdle, financial hurdle he had to get through. And we helped him get over that. And, you know, his doors are open, his lights are on, and he's doing good. So so there are, when when you're looking for this retention and employer retention, employment retention, it's, you, it's almost like all these other things we talk about with folks, with real estate agents, with this and that. You, if you're upfront and honest at the very end, start of the conversation you mm-hmm. don't have to three visits down the road go boy i thought we were going down one path and now it looks like we need to start working on something else mm-hmm. i i don't know you have to be honest with them and you know build that trust just let that curtain you know go away and and have some good solid conversation and let them know the resources that you have to offer we've got great great uh, resource partners with the chambers 
the county, the city, you know, I mean, there's no reason. I don't, I don't think why our businesses um, should leave. You know, we've yeah. got so many services here for them and, and, you know, all they need to do is call. And let it's us not know. new business. We just we talk about this a lot, but it's not new. But it's no, all it's all of our businesses. Yeah, we don't want to see them pack up and move somewhere else or close their doors. You know, because they had um, some kind of an issue. They didn't know that there was a service. You know, available to them to help to help with that. So whatever you, the case may be. If you Workforce. Got that first letter saying warning, first issuance. Mm -hmm. That's the time to head over to the EDC and go. I got this. I'm not sure what it means. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all confidential. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, we know you, you, and we know Jennifer. Mm -hmm. and it, you guys don't talk outside of school. I mean, we. Yeah, you, I mean, you can't. No. You know, you want to do the best that you can for them, and and there's a lot more, you know, that we talked about in this class. You know, I, in September, we're holding a uh, disaster preparedness uh, luncheon, but I think I would like to move that up and maybe turn it into a dinner for all business owners. Sure. Kind of talk to them. We had a gal in the class that worked for the small business administration during 9-11 mm. and the stories that she stood up and told us and talked about and things that um, prevented businesses from reopening their doors. It was, you know, they went to door to door and talked to every business owner that they could. A year later, 90% of those businesses didn't open. Wow. 75% of those business in the beginning of 2018 never, never reopened. And it was things, you know, having your backup data offsite instead of in your drawer, you know, in your desk. It's just little things that, I mean, you just kind of get comfortable and you don't think that it's ever going to happen to you. But, you know, you keep talking about the big earthquake and how devastating that could be. How long is it going to be before you can open your doors again? And do, can you set up remotely somewhere else? You know, I'm um, information on your employees to help your employees make it into work. Will you guys will you guys visit a site and have these conversations on site, or do you have people come in, or just whatever works well for them? If, if someone whatever works for them, we'll certainly come to them anytime. We'll meet them in the evening, uh, weekend. They're welcome to come into our office. We office, want to make it convenient for them. Office address is three ten West Coda, just up the street from the old Radio Ranch here four two six two two seven six, and you can always choose Mason. Dot com. Great website. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Well, welcome back. Thank you very much.